Hey guys, welcome to another Exosploit tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can make a bootable USB drive with a free software application called Rufus. I have my empty USB drive here and we'll be downloading Rufus from their homepage. You can either get the full installed version of Rufus or just the portable application. It's very small in size but holds up really well against similar software on the market. When installing a Windows 7 image, it's more than twice as fast as the official Windows 7 USB tool from Microsoft. So once you have Rufus downloaded, you can run the executable, and I'm not going to check for updates here. So this is the main interface of Rufus. First you have your device, and I only have one USB drive right now. The second option here will tell Rufus which partition scheme and system type your target machine will be using. Now, if you're not sure which one to select, the top option is pretty much a catch-all. BIOS is uh, used by Windows XP, Vista, as well as Windows 7 environments, and UEFI is a newer firmware interface and that is supported in um, Windows 7, 8, and 10. But in Windows 7, it might have to be selected uh, because Windows 7 could also use BIOS. GPT is a newer partition scheme, so if you have a brand new system, you could also be using the bottom option. But for most applications, selecting the top option should be just fine. Next, you'll be selecting the file system that you'll be using on your USB drive. You can either use FAT32, NTFS, Extended FAT, or UDF. In most cases, you'll be using FAT32, unless your install image is larger than 4 gigabytes. I'm just using a little Linux distribution, which is only 15 megabytes, so FAT32 will be sufficient for me. You can leave your cluster size set at default, and I'll be naming my USB drive after the Linux operating system, which I am installing on it. Under the format options, you can choose to check your device for bad blocks if you are suspecting that your USB drive has errors on it. You can choose quick format, and here you'll select your ISO image that you're installing from, and you can leave the bottom option checked as well. Finally, we're ready to create our bootable USB drive. If you receive this ISO hybrid image dialog, leave the recommended setting checked and then click OK. And once again, click OK to this to confirm that you will be formatting your USB drive, which will erase anything that is on it if it's not empty. And now my USB drive has successfully formatted. And there you have it. If you have any questions, please leave a comment in the video and I'll try to get back to you. And if you're having trouble selecting your boot device, I have another video tutorial which gives instructions for selecting a boot device. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please help the channel grow by giving it a like and subscribe for more videos.